Hey, welcome back guys. So, so far we have a nice working thing here. We've done the create, we've done the uh, the listing, which is the select. So create, uh, read, and then now we're going to the update and delete. But let's start with delete because just because uh, it's easier, right? Okay, so to go to the delete, uh, what we need is uh, you can have a page for where you ask, are you sure you want to delete and so on, but I'm going to skip that for the sake of uh, speeding up things. Obviously, we'll see how to do that in the actual project. But uh, for now, let's just see how we can add a button here that will delete immediately. So let's go to list customers right here where we have our table. And let's add one more column on the table. And this column is going to be called action because this is where we will have our action. So action like this. Uh, and then I will need table data at the end here. So what I will do is I will lower the table row here so I can add the table data here where we can see it a little bit better. So table data. And in this one, we'll have the delete button. Now, delete will simply take us to, where will it take us to? Hmm. It should take us to a link where we delete stuff. So I will put a link here like this. Okay, so I'll say A, for anchor and in here I want to add a URL just like I added here so I'm just going to copy this and put it here and instead of this we're just going to say delete customer delete uh, customer but I want this to have an ID so of course I will add an ID here and that ID will come from uh, one of these guys, so I'll say row right here. Hmm. I will concatenate here with a dot and boom. Instead of name though, I will put ID. Uh -huh. And then here I will close this like so. So all I want for now is just to see if this actually worked out by refreshing the page. Okay, so if I go here i hover on one of these i do see the uh, id bottom the, uh, at the bottom there so this is uh, two three and four so things will definitely work here now the only thing we need is to create a uh, a route for this so we will go to the, our routes here and this is a get it's not really a post it's a get so there we go so what I will say is get, and then instead of list customers, it's delete customers. I will use the same name for the function, delete customer, just one R without the S there, delete customer, delete customer. Yeah, actually that's all we need. Mm -hmm. So yes, so when I go to my controller now, I will copy this so I don't make a mistake on the function. Go to my controller right there and let's create a function function delete mm -hmm. now since we're going to be sending an ID here so we must take care of that so here we delete customer I'm expecting an ID so I'll do that put some brackets uh, curly brackets there and call this one ID like so mm -hmm. And now if I come back to the controller, I should be expecting an ID over here. So I'll just say ID. But in case it's not there, actually, if it's not there, uh, it won't come to this, this controller. So no worries there. Yes. Only thing now is uh, I need to redirect once I'm done to the list of customers like so. OK, good. So all I need now is to do something here to delete a particular record. So now what I want is to be able to get one record from here. So what shall I do? Hmm, let's see. 
surprisingly, I've actually forgotten the. Uh, I've forgotten the. Uh, the command. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let's create a new model here, the customer model. And then I'm just going to say uh, data, which is what we've received. The data should be equal to the customer model. Uh, find like that. And then we will be given the ID to find. So we'll say ID to find. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, if it's not found, uh, no biggie. Nothing will be deleted. It will just return. But if it is found, then we should uh, delete it. So I just want to say data, like so. Delete, like that. And that's it. Okay, so we create, uh, using the customer class, we create this data object, which when we say find, it will find in the specific table, which is customers table and bring the data here. But then this is just not an array, it's actually an object. So it can run functions, which is one of these is the delete function. Just like this one ran the uh, save. Yes, the save function. Did I type this correctly? I have no idea. The only way to find out is to find out, as they say. So let's try to find out. So I'm just going to try and delete Peter at the very end here. So delete, my friend. Eh, surprise, surprise, Peter is gone. That's how you delete stuff. Then I can add a new customer. Let's add him again, just for the satisfaction of deleting him again. So Peter, and this is a Peter, and come, yeah, I'll save. Peter is back, isn't he? But let's delete him again. Hmm very satisfying okay so if we come back here to our table we will see that uh, peter is no more even here that's how you delete okay great so in the next video we'll see how to edit a record see you then